Hello, friends. It's me, Beth. Well, I finally made it into Amish country, and I'm going to have not one, but two videos from that day. This video is all about the salvage grocery store finds that I came across, and boy, did I find some good deals. And at the end of the video, I'll share with you my Amish-style lunch. First up, Jimmy Dean spicy sausage, a one-pound roll at 69 cents each. You know I grabbed some of that for the stockpile. Also, Jimmy Dean regular sausage, if you're not a fan of spicy, this still equaled out to under $1.50 a pound. And maybe you're not a fan of Jimmy Dean. Well, they also had the Tennessee Pride. It was a mild flavor at $1.29 a pound. Moving on to the ground beef. Guess what? They still had that 80-20 uh, coarse ground beef, $1.29 a pound. And the fine ground beef was $1.99 a pound. You do have to take it in the large frozen roll, though. Moving on to the breaded chicken. We've tried this before. This is more than five pounds of breaded chicken for $9.95 a bag, and we really did like that. Maybe you don't eat pork, beef, or chicken. They had impossible sausage on this particular day. It's a 14-ounce roll for $1.29, and it's not past its best if used by date. Let's go see what we can find that doesn't take refrigeration or freezing in case you are in Shipshawana and you have uh, some traveling to do. So we'll start with these uh, specials up front. They had these cr cremette um, home style noodles. It's an eight and a half ounce pack, not past the best if used by date, good well into June of 2023. And these packs were only 59 cents each. I thought that was a pretty good buy. Also on special, they had Sloppy Joe. Hopefully they bring more of this out. It is a 15-ounce can for $0.39, cents and the best if used by date is November of 2023. So a lot of life left on that. I don't know anything, however, about that brand. If you, if you know, let me know in the comments below. IGA evaporated milk for $0.99 cents a can. That is the cheapest I have seen evaporated milk in quite a while. They all they had plenty of milk there, and they also had the sweet and condensed milk as well. Snacks. They had these bowl and basket graham crackers, a chocolate flavor, for 50 cents a back, uh, box. Please let me know in the comment below if you know anything about that brand as well. I do know this brand. Check this tea out. Famous brand tea, $1.99 for 100 count. Lipton. Sounded cheap to me. I don't drink it, but I went ahead and put it in the video. I thought you can't beat that price. I, I don't see how it could be any cheaper than that. The vinegar at $2.29. Good. Date on that was still good. And then they had uh, the kettle chips up front, 99 cents for eight ounces. It's a small pack. But have you guys seen the chip prices lately? Wow. By the way, those chips are non-GMO. And then the Ritz crackers, they had these multi-packs um, and they were like five, six dollars. Not a super mega buy, but I did want to say, you know, they do have a lot of name brand and brands that I haven't heard of before. ENS Bulk Foods, if you've been there with me before, you know how awesome it is. I took these photos in case someone watches this video and they've never been there. They have organic produce, as you can see right there. Then they have large bins of other produce, apples, sweet potatoes, you can see and such. An amazing bakery. I put that in my last uh, video of ENS. But this is something I've never shared. They do sometimes have deals on jars. And on that particular date, pint jars were $7.99 a case. They had the name brand graham crackers at $1.25 a box. If you're into organic products, ENS sometimes has those. $0.99 cents for this low-sodium chicken broth. And the date was good on it into um, this month. Also coming up, you can see we've got some Cheetos. These are $2.99 for tw uh, 12 of the good size cups. My grandchildren end up liking it. Uh, my, all you need is water for this. So four of those cups for a dollar, cheap price. Um, I also found that one time at Sam's, if you remember. Then Tropical Punch. They also had the lemonade and other kinds. These were $4.99, $5.99, but I dug until I found the date of 2024. And uh, so I stocked up, I think about four or five total, just need water. Never seen these Lucky Charms, so I threw them in the video. I had no idea they had these marshmallows. Uh, Best by date, still good on those. 
And something else I've never seen in ENS is the Zook's homemade pies. This is a chicken pie. They also have a sausage pie. We'll be trying one of these. When I see the name Zook, I automatically think Amish. I mean, that's that's just automatically what I think of. And a big question for me was, will they still have all those bulk products with people seeing these prices? And you know what? They did still have all those products in bulk, uh, more than enough. And on this particular day, I had to share with you, this is the only photo I could get going down the aisle. I couldn't share any decorations or anything because it was full of Amish people. The store is usually full of um, non-Amish, but this particular day, uh, Tuesday must be the day that the Amish do their shopping. So Essen House, if you remember, I took you to that massive restaurant there before in Amish country and a snowstorm came. So I had to take my chicken to go and I showed you around the beautiful restaurant, but I never did a go in and eat. So on this particular day, I did go in I had the buffet. They have things like chicken and beef and whatnot. But chicken, I had some mashed potatoes, the wonderful noodles. Um, that chicken dressing is absolutely amazing. And the green beans. And let me tell you about the rolls that day. That Those are the best rolls I've ever had from there. They were so good and fresh. I took a photo real quick of the buffet to show you how clean. When you are serving that many people, okay, I don't know how they're able. They That was clean to me with so many people in the restaurant. Uh, in the upstairs on my old video, I didn't share with you, not only, you know, they had all the beautiful quilts downstairs, but upstairs they have couches, they have places, arrangements, so you can take photos with your family uh, in the restaurant. And right now they've got their Christmas decorations out. They've got this train out. I'm sure kids would love that. Then at the tables, they have things like playing cards. Some of them have a coloring books and crayons for the children, lots of fun things, puzzles, you name it. It's a great restaurant. On the way over to the bakery, I took a photo of this Christmas tree in this little area. Um, I, I, it was hard to take photos with so many people. You don't want to infringe on people's privacy. I mean, I was so desperate to show you the, how nice the restaurant was uh, during busy hour. I even took a photo in the bathroom of how clean and neat it was. Down at the bakery, uh, they have gingerbread. You can shop off of the trees there all throughout uh, Essen House. And uh, anyways, so uh, of course, gingerbread and they've got different things that you can buy as gifts. I had to wait forever for this place to clear out to get a photo. Um, but there's kind of what it looks like. It's a nice size bakery. You can buy the pies. This is what they had left, uh, right there, or they have ready-made packaged up things on the shelves as well. Just depends probably, um, the variety you want. Maybe they wouldn't have it out. On this particular day, I did buy two donuts. I wish I would have took photos before my husband uh, tried them. But anyways, they are huge. They are bigger than saucers. Their donuts are huge. And then I bought him a cinnamon roll as well. The star of the show for the meat today, as far as my uh, dining out experience, was that chicken dressing. Oh, was it good? It, it it was just the best. I give it a I give it a ten out of ten. It was that good. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video. I've got another video to get ready for you of this trip into Amish country. Take care, my friends, and talk to you real soon.